This is what I get for being honest. Soft in the door. Glad I thought to pack painkillers. Of course, they're back in the 4x4. Four four. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> well, at least I've still got my dignity. Try this way. Uh. Huh. Good. it back. Yeah. 
explosives. Where are you? Oh, shit! Okay. I saw! Oh, all right. Can't resist kicking the hornet's nest, can you, Fraser? Yes, yes. Listen, we'll never get anywhere with these guys around. Come on! That's it. We're clear. Shit. You need a hand? There we go. You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start, and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay. Cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up. Okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority is the task. Not Sam Drake. And certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Oh, what was that? Exactly what it sounded like. Kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Okay. Looks like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. Both? 
Easy. Easy. Easy does it. Okay, then. Where's it taking us? Wherever it wants. Here. <clears throat> you want some of this? Here you go. Look, I am... Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But. Bandits raided his camp, and, um... Local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So, listen, Fraser, you don't have to. What's it doing? Charging, I think. Tell it to stop, because I speak elephant. She to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today, at least we reunited a family. No, oh, just keep your distance. <laughs> I suppose it would be a shame to come all this way and die right now, here. Here. I'll take this one. Oh. Okay, thanks. Move over a little. That's good. Now, reach that way and hold out your hand. What? Much safer way to pet an elephant. Much obliged. Maybe 
it's been a while, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. Nice of a serve to leave some supplies for us. Mm. Load up if you need it. Good call. Up here. Upstairs. I see light through the water. Centuries. Apart from a song. Apart from a song. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. Are you ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. Come on. 
Look out! C4! We are not alone. C4! Watch it! I think we lost them. Find a way out there. Right, back to it. <laughs> ah, let's see where this goes. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Whoa! Up there. Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. The sovereign respects the soul. Huh. 
It's a shame, in a way, that the lure's hidden from the world. And now we know why. Another god? I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. He saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. And in case there was any doubt, this was Balor. Lord Shiva. Personandi. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh. At least before he got his elephant's head. Could be. Might also be Kartikeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chose different paths. Damn it! They've blown the entrance! That must have been the explosion we heard. Uh, gotta be another way in. They're trying to slow us down. Yeah. <laughs> In here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Hurry up. We need to get up to the other. I see him. Okay. John, let's go. there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Oh, well, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kunlad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Is that a sitar? Vina. It's the sitar's distant ancestor. Maybe they gave performances in here. Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. 
Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. <laughs> Through here. Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? Okay. That's our way back in. Copy that. Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. Oh my god. 
God. What the hell? <laughs> Your head back in the game now? Oh, Marta. Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Does it? No. What? Got water in my ears. I hate that. But I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. Nice work. <sighs> what on earth is this place? The throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up. Not there, mostly broken. I'll have to find another way out. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find a Sav. Or until he finds us. <laughs> Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. I'll give this a spin. <laughs> the hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. <sighs> Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. That's Vasuki, a king of the Nagas. Entities that take the form of the King Cobra. It shows his control over fear and death. Mm. Cobras were always my favorite snake. Don't think I have a favorite snake. <laughs> hmm. Now what's that up there? One thing at a time. Right. <laughs> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Another crank up ahead. <sighs> Whoa. Okay. I'm standing right here. I know. Hmm. 
And now we turn the water on for this side. And here we go. Now we've got water running down both sides. Look. Oh. Shall we? That it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Now. All this then. Ah, here we go. That thing it's holding. It's a prism. <laughs> That looks right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. Oh shit, this one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. There. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. <sighs> okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water. It's a cleansing ritual. Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Shit, they found us! Get you ready! Shit! Get off of the asshole! Uh, uh. 
Well, now that was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was going to say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. God. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh! Oh, my... Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! Final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on. Oh, on way. the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Sharama.
anything stupid. Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet. Quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Chloe! You sure that's it? No. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. He yielded. Huh? Are you all right? Here. Yeah. That was unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right. As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes!
Okay, they'll do me. Coming! Okay, all right. Damn it! Ah! Uh, Ladies first! Chloe, dear, not to rush you, but could you please hurry the hell up? Take a deep breath! <laughs> Soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. It's not much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Let's have a look out throughout the area. This door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right, all right. Less talking, more walking. <laughs> <laughs> 